Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away, and we've got, got the trial from Diagostini. This came out in December last year in 2018, so you won't be able to get hold of this now. Uh, but being the 50th year anniversary, we have Build the Apollo 11 Lunar Module. Now, just to reiterate, this is a trial that came out the back end of last year, so you're not going to be able to get hold of this now. Uh, it would be good to see if they're going to release it sometime between July this year and July next year, if they're going to release it at all, if there's going to be a, uh, an interest in it. Uh, the reason being is we're in the 50th year anniversary of the Apollo 11 landings. It's been 50 years since the immortal words were spoken. That's one small step for man. One... That happened on July the 20th, 1969, way before when I was born. So, uh, But space fascinates me, and I love anything to do with uh, the moon and the Saturn V rockets and space race. And um, This is why when Marty Pick sent this to me, and the next five videos that you're going to see in this series are all down to Marty Pick, and I thank you so much for that. I am trying to sort something out for you for being so generous in sending me these. Uh, but let me just show you what we've got. You get the magazine here. And uh, in the magazine, it's telling you all about the uh, race to the moon. Uh, I'll just show you a little guide for each page here. I don't normally do this, but because this isn't actually out now, I think it's good that you see that. And just like the Agostini, at the end of the magazine, it shows you the parts you're going to get with the build and then how we're putting them together. And as you can see, we're going to be doing the ascent stage front panel. And then we're going to be building one of the spacesuits there, which looks really good. And it does tell you what's coming in issue two. As I said, I have got five issues of this before they ended the trial. Now, when they did end the trial, they sent everyone this letter. And uh, basically, if I put that up on the screen now for you, it just says, I'd like to thank you for your enthusiasm and support for build the Apollo 11 lunar module. Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, we've been forced to suspend publication of your series until further notice. We'd like to be able to advise you when the series resumes and send you the copy of issue six free of charge. Um, now, this is the standard letter that they do send out with trials. Normally, you only get four in a trial. Uh, for this one, we do did get five, though. So, uh, But look at the pieces for this. They look absolutely brilliant. And just for the Spaceman alone, this first issue would have been like 99p, I guess, or 199. I'm not quite sure what the original price was. We've got a screwdriver in there as well. A bit like the Iron Man helmet here. You know, nice cheap issue to get you hooked in to uh, actually start buying this. Uh, but this is what we're going to be building today. But before we get on to that, let's just show you some of the other leaflets that we got. Now, as I said, it's not in production, but this is the free gifts that they were looking at the moment. You've got your zero gravity pen. You got your uh, commemorative medallion, free gift two. Then you got a Saturn V rocket model, which is 76 centimeters high. And uh, it's just showing you details again, what you can get with the premium subscription. They got the perfect modeler's toolbox there with all of those little things inside. That'd be really handy for a lot of you. Uh, and obviously how to subscribe for that information. Put that to one side. We've got another flyer to say what's coming in part two. And we've got the flag there and some wires and some electrics. And this is what you'd give to your news agents. But obviously, as I said, it's a trial, so that wouldn't be going in. And then once again, just another little brochure there of what's coming in this build. And it's telling you that on July the 20th, 1969, human beings first set foot on the moon. And once again, showing you what the model looks like. How impressive is that with the diorama here? Uh, and obviously, uh, I mean, it speaks for itself, really. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, you can uncover... The engine compartments here so you can see all the engine covers inside the uh, module there and uh, it's telling you some of the details here it's 27 centimeters and this is a square shape so it's 27 centimeters each side so you're looking at a good foot each side it's 26 centimeters up so it's a nice little square box there um but this would look really good in a case to be honest with you but uh these are the brochures that normally come in these and again just some information there about some of the sections that are in the magazine about life in space the space age technology in space but this looks like it was going to be a brilliant build now the agostini as i said we're still in the 50th year from july the 20th 2019 to july the 20th 2020 i'd love to see this come out in the new year but i know the agostini have got lots on their cards at the moment and lots of things that they're trying to get out uh, but will we ever see that but i'm excited to show you this because uh, this is my passion i love space so without further ado, let's have a look at this build. 
Okay, so the first thing they give you is a screwdriver looking like this. By the look of it, it looks like a PHO screwdriver and they give you three millimeter screws with some spares. Uh, just putting that on the screwdriver, it does look like it's magnetic. Look, I can hold it upside down and the screw's still on there. So this is another valuable screwdriver uh, because the amount of these Phillips head screwdrivers that I go through, I could start a business in, uh, in, in Phillips head screwdrivers. Thank God I've got the wearer one, but for this one, I am gonna use the one that come with it just so I can show you how this goes together. So the first parts we're gonna need are this part here. Now these are all part of the Ascent Stage front panel. Now this is metal, as is the bit that we're gonna be connecting to it. Obviously two different colors, but we've got holes in here, this side here, and obviously we've got the corresponding lugs in this side. So when this goes in, it's gonna go in kind of like that. So it mirrors what we've got on the other side here, which means we need to put two screws in these two holes here. Now the screws that come with it are three mil screws, uh, and they did say that they provided spares for these, so these should go in nice and easy. So let's have a look. Yep, typical Diagostini, they go in absolutely perfectly. So, like a glove. <laughs> so we put the second one in there. Uh, and already, this is quite a heavy piece because, obviously, as I said, this is metal. Get the second one in. There we go. And that looks just like that on that side. And where I put the screws, just like that. The next parts we need are the hatch. Now, these are the two pieces of the hatch. They're both in plastic. So if I turn them over, you can see you've got pins in that side, holes in that side, and uh, it's pretty easy to see how this goes. We're gonna be pushing the pins in the holes. Now, Diagostini do like not having to use glue. It's a lot of, a lot of uh, clip in place, push in place, which is uh, quite a good thing because it makes the model easy to build. And as you can see, all I had to do was push that in place and that is the hatch done. You see you've got two different colors there, which is a nice touch as well. And you've already got the hinges at the back there. Now we just need to bring back the ascent stage panel and uh, we're gonna be resting the hatch just over the top like that, making sure we put it in the right way round. Uh, it's gonna be fitting in these little divots just here so that it is on a hinge mechanism just like that and then we need to take the hinge cover here we're just going to keep this in place and that's quite simply just going to fit over the top and these sections here are going to go into the holes in the top of the hinges and then we just once again push it into place just on the pins at this side just like that and there we go that is the hinge in place on that side and that's what it looks like the other side and you can open it up as you can see there <laughs> that's really good isn't it the detail on that is pretty amazing. Quite simply, that's all we have to do on the ship. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is working on the astronauts. Now, looking at this picture from left to right, we've got Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and the famous Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin being the second man on the moon. Uh, obviously, these are the crew that piloted the uh, Apollo 11. So uh, we are gonna start building these looking just like this. Not quite sure who this one is, but uh, these are quite simple to do. They are actually just push fit. So first thing we're gonna be doing is putting the helmet here just on top of the neck. Now these are plastic, but they are really, how can I describe it? They're very dense. It doesn't feel like a cheap plastic like you'd get in like a Kinder Egg or something like that. This is quite heavy. So it's a very dense plastic, uh, but quite simply, we're just gonna put these parts in to make the little spaceman. Now to me, <laughs> this would be worth the money just by doing this, I'm telling you. Uh, and the last thing we've got to do is we've just got to put in the little section on his chest there and it does correspond with the shape of this part here. So we push that in as well. And that's got to be the simplest spaceman we've done. Now, being number one, I am guessing that's Neil Armstrong there. And uh, he does stand up all by himself, as you can see. <laughs> now, there is one more detail to put in, I'm guessing, at the back there. Looks like we've got a slot for something to slot in. But, uh, yeah, there is, I'm guessing, Neil Armstrong giving a salute. So, in this issue, we've done the astronaut. And we've done the hatch on the ascent stage front panel, which I said opens. And that was quite a nice build. There's the screwdriver that comes with it as well. Um, excited because very quick, I like that. The parts feel really good. And I think the only sad thing is that I know this hasn't gone into full production. But by watching this video and going over to the Apollo 11 website and registering your interest, it might tell Diagostini, you know something, this is something we wanna see. So, uh, you know, get your fingers out and uh, see if we can manufacture that. 
would be good, wouldn't it? So uh, that'd be another builder collection. Anyway, listen, part two, three, four, and five will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. I'm not sure when yet because there is a lot on next week as well, but uh, I hope you like this video on a Sunday. So uh, don't normally do videos on a Sunday. If you did like that video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, can I implore you, please click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll be notified every time a new video is out. Other than that, take care. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to subscribe. Take care.